Hey guys and gals, today we have the Battlefield 1 Collector's Edition unboxing. Um, as you can see, this box is absolutely massive. So let's hope the Collector's Edition box isn't quite this big. So yeah, let's get into it. So inside the shipping box, there was the Battlefield 1 Collector's Edition box here. Um, shipped to Amazon carton of 265 out of 840 I'm not sure what that means I don't think these are limited edition but yeah so let's get into this one okay so I just open this up and you can see it's like all this foam and then the game is just kind of pressed in the side there down over here like that so that's odd um, it looks like the edition this is the edition box is what it seems like um, so I'm going to struggle. Well, maybe I can get it out like this. Oh. So because the game's on one side, it actually looks like it does leave you at least a little room to, to grab onto it, which is good. Okay, no, the addition's in here. Okay, here we go. Wow. Okay, so you can see here, it, it, they did a great job packaging this, so this would never be damaged inside this, this box for collectors. This was a great thing to do. Um, of course, this edition was very expensive, so I guess it's kind of, you know, almost expected. So let me pull this out and we'll be right back. All right. Wow, this pack, this was packaged very well. So it had these big foam pieces, top and bottom, then it had a plastic bag on top of it to eliminate any scratches. I mean, they really went above and beyond for collectors on this one. Um, so I don't know if this is a... Uh, very heavy, very large. I wish I had a wide lens camera, but sadly I don't. So that is a sleeve. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't be, wouldn't be complete unless I did that at least once. So I forgot to show you guys around it. So here's the side of the sleeve, which basically shows you how to set up the statue. The back side is that same uh, picture we've all seen of the collector's edition details. And then the other side actually just continues the cool artwork. So this would actually be a cool pinup on your wall if you just kind of folded it back like this. That'd be pretty cool. I actually might do that. That actually looks pretty cool. Okay, so... Oh, so it looks like the game was supposed to be in here, which is weird. So the games must have... So there is a slot for the game. So that is odd that mine came in the side of it. Um, it must have been... Uh, maybe different retailers got certain retailers didn't get them inside or something. I don't know. All right, so there's that slot for the game. There's like a little again. There's like a little card in here that tells you something about where to go to redeem a code. It was right in here with the well where the game was supposed to be. But I have no idea what the hell this is saying. There's no code. I don't see a code there, do you? I guess I'll have to read it later. don't really feel like reading it right now. Or maybe the code is in in the game. So let's open that up real quick. Because I'm definitely going to play. I thought the beta was okay. So this comes with the Early Enlister Deluxe Edition. Is what the Collection Edition comes with. So you probably get all that good DLC. Um, hold on. Yeah, good. All right. Yeah, the codes, I think, are in here. Um, so this is a code right here. Early Enlister Deluxe Edition. You get all this bonus content. Start playing now with your additional content. So you get all that stuff. Um, and then talking about the Premium Pass and then Titanfall 2. And then obviously your game disc, which, yeah, whatevs. Big whatevs on that. All right. So, get rid of all this garbage. Let's figure out how to open this. So it looks like this might slide. 
Okay. It looks like this stands back up like this, and then this top piece looks like it must open. Yep, it does. Okay. So this top piece, you can see here, it opens up. Sorry, I know the hold on. Yeah, you can see it now. All right. Oh, and they put the finger holes in there. Awesome. Thank you very much for designing it that way. Thanks for listening. So let's pull this bad boy out. This is quite the box. Oh, it's getting stuck. Oh, there we go. All right. So there's the foam piece that holds a statue, and I'll cut her open and we'll check it out and set it up. All right, got it all cut open. So let's open it up. Oh, there's the steel book. Okay, cool. So interestingly enough, the steel book is in with the statue, which is a good idea because it keeps it from getting all scratched up. There's nothing worse than when they put it in with the game and it rubs up against it and it gets all kinds of scratches. This was a very good idea. Kudos to them for that. Battlefield 1. And then, yeah, empty case. I, I do like it when they put a steelbook in and then they regular game case. That is what you need to do with collector's editions. It does not make sense to put the game in the, in the steel case, no regular case. So hopefully, uh, yeah, take note, other collector edition makers. And wow, this statue is huge. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, look, you even get some free silica packets. Mmm. All right. So let's start to pull this. Oh, wait, I forgot. There's other items in here, too. That's right. There's the... Okay, hold on. I almost forgot. We got the Battlefield 1 card deck. Let's open these up. Come on. I hate these packages. They never, like, open easy. There we go. All right. Let's see what these bad boys look like. Cards probably being really uh, quite used a lot in, in wartime, I imagine. People trying to pass the time when they have off time or sitting in the trenches. I'm sure a good deck of cards was something they really enjoyed having. So it looks like all of the face cards have faces on them. Different characters from the game. And then the regular cards are just like background type shots. Generic. That's pretty cool. Alright, and then the second thing, I think this is a cloth map. Which is really cool. Oh, it feels, it's like more like a canvasy, uh, nylon-y type feeling. It's pretty thick. Oh, it's not a map, it's a, uh, okay. Enlist now. Your country needs you. That's cool. Really nice material, too. Pretty surprised. Of course, with the price of this edition, it ought to be. Because I think this was $210. Um, I ended up getting mine for quite a bit cheaper through Amazon, and it looks like they ended up putting my prime savings twice accidentally. I'm not really sure. You even get a patch, which looks weird. It almost looks like a... Uh, uh, what's that? Polo game or whatever type patch. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Uh, and then here you have a carrier pigeon. Um, I can't remember what the heck it's called, but it's like uh, it's for the for messages you put on the carrier pigeon. Okay, so there's there's actually even a piece of paper and a code on this one. Let's see, come on, zero five seven one two. So this is very underwhelming, actually. Uh, this is all plastic. That's That sucks. I thought this would be metal. It looked like it was going to be a nice little copper piece. Um, so maybe all the money went towards... Okay, I can't even get that message out of there. There we go. You can do it. Please enter the instructions on the packaging sleeve for... Oh, that's what... Okay, so the code is for... These two must match up, is what must be going on here, which is kind of ridiculous, but okay. <laughs> They went to great lengths to keep those kind of separate. It's kind of weird. So that is the pigeon thing. And again, it's just a plastic thing. Very disappointing this thing is. So hopefully the statue definitely makes up for it. We can hope. 
So I'm gonna start getting this out and uh, yeah, let's see how it is. Okay, looks like it's mostly one piece. Looks like there's only a couple different little pieces on the outside that need to, ooh. Okay, be very careful, I almost just broke this. When you're pulling this off, his gun will catch on the plastic because of the way it's wrapped, and I literally almost broke this. I'm actually amazed I didn't. Oh, it looks like uh, this piece kind of rubbed up against something. Luckily, they're just rubbery plastic tips, so you can kind of bend them back into the way they're supposed to be. Um, so you have, the last things in here are another his other arm, and, sorry, his other arm, oh, other different guns, so you can change the arm, that's cool. Uh, and then batteries, which I'm guessing are for the base. There must be something that lights up. I admit I haven't been paying attention. I didn't know this was a light-up statue. It's very big. Um, yeah, I'm very surprised at how, how large the statue is. <clears throat> Should have got some scissors. Of course, I didn't think to bring any. So let's get into the other arms and check those out. So you have the shotgun arm, and then instead of this old style pistol, you have this newer semi-automatic semi pistol. Of course, they're both semi-automatic. Let me go up a little bit here to get the statue and view a little better. And we'll do some close-up detail on him in a minute once I clean up and everything. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, do, I'll be right back. I'm going to clean up and uh, yeah, we'll start looking at this statue. All right, so let's put the batteries in this. So you can see here is just a screw in the bottom. So let's... All right, so got the batteries in. There's a little on-off switch under here. Oh, okay. Interesting. So this bag lights up. You can see it's kind of a translucent. That actually looks pretty cool. It gives you the, the remnants of that trailer, the whole you know, explosion orange going off to the side from the trailer uh, in the intro pick as I would put in this put in this video. So that is pretty cool. We'll leave that on for right now. And obviously the on off switch is under this little rock here or a piece of the pillar, which I can't seem to fit back in, I guess. I am having troubles left and right with this unboxing. All right, there. Um, okay, so there's a different hand for either side. So you have the choice of uh, this, I think it's this is like that German, I can't remember the name of it, very famous pistol, and i just drawing a blank for some reason right now. And then you have this semi-automatic, more modern type handgun. And then down here you obviously have this, uh, I think it's a like a tank grenade or something. Or maybe it's just a cudgel, a pretty nasty cudgel. And again, I'll probably have to keep bending this back for a while before it stays straight. Um, and then you can replace this hand with this shotgun, which is pretty cool. Yeah. That is pretty awesome that you can do that. It's cool that it comes with the exchangeable hands. Um, let's do some detail here. Let's get them close up. Let me turn the light off for a minute. I'll give you guys a, well, I'll give you guys a close look at the light real quick. You can see there the lights are in there and it's just shining through. But the effect is pretty cool. I'll admit that effect is pretty cool. I mean, it reminds me of the trailer of that picture. It looks just like it. Um, so the detail on this is pretty darn good. I wouldn't say it's amazing. I mean, for the scale of this, it's not hard to do really good detail. You know what I mean? So it's it's a lot easier for them to, you know, do less detail. Not less detail, but it's easier for them to do a decent amount of detail just because... Of the size. Sorry, the light's really terrible today. It's a really crappy day, but figures I got it today. So these are all rubbery. These swords, you won't break them. The base looks like a marble type office floor almost, with some some pillars that are broken. Yeah, it's it's okay. I don't think it's great. I mean, look, you see these these pretty nasty seams. Of course, you could just say, of course can't even talk right now. You could just say that's part of the seam of his coat, but it's clearly the seam of the statue itself. 
You see down here too, you can see. But again, it's it's where the uh, clothes meet, so you can almost get away with it by doing that. And the face isn't, it's not terrible, but it's not great either. Let's get this arm out of the way here for a second. It's not as good as it should be on this size of a statue. I'm actually surprised it's this big. I didn't even really, didn't really register for me. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Well, all right, guys and gals. Uh, I can't, after all that's in this and everything I've seen, I can't recommend this, stat, this uh, collector edition for the price. If it was a little bit cheaper, I think it would be a pretty good deal. Um, if you're a big Battlefield fan and you like statues, this isn't a bad statue. Uh, it's just not a really great one. It's not, it's not terrible, but it's not awesome either. Well, all right, guys and gals. That was the Battlefield 1 Collector Edition unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the unboxing. And yeah, glad we got this over with. All right, thanks for watching as always.